what's up? Welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. I hope your back doesn't hurt. My, my back always seems to hurt. In this video, we're going to be making this basketball poster right here, and we're only going to be using these main three elements to build it. So hopefully um, you watch this, you could pick up some techniques and things you can use in your own photo composition. So let's get into Affinity Photo. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is isolate this basketball player from the background using the selection brush tool. So I'm just going around with the selection brush tool, making my selection, um, adding or subtracting where I think it needs to go. Once I'm done and I think the selection looks okay, I'm going to hit the refine button at the very top of the toolbar there. And I'm just going to check it, make sure it looks okay. When it's done, I'm going to select it and add it as a new layer to my layers panel. So he is now isolated uh, from the background. From here, I'm going to add something called an HSL adjustment, which will let me target uh, particular colors or color. Um, I was thinking about changing his jersey from reddish orange to a different type of color. I decided just to keep it the reddish orange, but make it a little bit brighter, make it a little bit more vibrant. Uh, from there, what I'm doing is adding a new background, a fill layer. So what I'm going to do is drag the fill layer to the bottom of the layers panel. It's white by default. What I want to do is use the color picker tool in the top right, and I'm going to sample a red off his jersey so it kind of matches what he's wearing. From here, I am now going to turn on the city layer uh, in the background, and I'm going to expand the city out so it fills the full canvas. And then I'm going to turn it black and white, and I want it kind of moody. I want the darks dark and the bright somewhat bright. Uh, from here, I'm now going to use my blend modes at the top of my layers panel. And because the city is sitting on top of the red fill layer, they're going to interact with each other. So I'm just messing with different fill layers or different blend modes, I'm sorry, to uh, get the color or the contrast I'm kind of going for. Now, once that is done, I'm going to position the city again and position the player a little bit more. Uh, here, I'm going to add some text and I'm just using standard impact text should be on your computer as well. Uh, from there, once it's done, the text is going to be made white. And instead of using it horizontal, I'm going to flip it vertical. And my idea here is I'm going to flip it vertical and I'm going to put it behind the player. So I'll just size it out here as best I can. And once I'm done doing that, I will pull the uh, text below him in the layers panel. I'm going to duplicate it uh, twice, so three times. So there's three versions uh, and kind of stack them on each other. And from here, I'm going to make each one of them a different color. The first one's going to be white. The second one's going to pull from his jersey, another dark red. And the third one's going to be like a darker black um, I'm also adding noise to each of these and I'm fading the opacity. So the noise makes it look kind of gritty and the opacity is basically the transparency, which makes it just faded a little bit. So he's still standing out in the front. Um, now I'm just messing with the positioning a little bit here. And now I'm going to duplicate the basketball player in the layers panel. So I'm going to make two of him and the one on the top, I'm going to turn off the second one. I'm going to add something, a new live filter layer called a motion blur. So I'm going to go to motion blur here. And when this comes up, I'm going to pull this slider over almost all the way because I want him to be pretty blurry. So I'm just testing it here um, to see how it's reacting. So I go kind of all the way over and pull it back just a little bit because I want movement in this picture. I want some sort of a blur. So now that that's set, I'm going to turn the top layer back on and I'm going to move the bottom layer, the blur over a little bit. So you can see that it looks like he's actually moving. It makes him look a little bit blurry. So he's got some movement that way. Next up, I wanted to add something behind the basketball and behind him. So I'm looking for like a light flash or a light source behind the ball. And once I find that, I'm going to put something behind him, like kind of like particles, uh, like dust almost, like uh, and I'm making the dust white so it stands out. So I'm just putting this kind of dust around him again so it looks like there's some sort of movement or magic behind him. And once that is done, we're now adding a picture frame. I'm just putting a white uh, box around it and I'm closing the fill and just giving it an outline or a stroke and repositioning my text. I like to move the box behind the player so it looks like he's kind of in front of the box, framing it out pretty good. And next up is the glass overlay. This is just a PNG file, and it sits over top. Um, instead of putting it on top of him, I'm putting it below him, so it's affecting everything below him. And now I'm adding some text, uh, a jersey number, and a name in the bottom right corner. And once that is done, I'm just playing with some curbs for shadows and highlights. And once that's done, I'm going to flatten everything out and I will take it into the develop persona and I will mess with some of the sliders here. I like to mess with the clarity slider a lot. Um, it makes it kind of pop. It makes everything look really cool. I think in Photoshop, it's like a, a, a live raw filter, raw, raw camera filter, something like that. Um, but that's essentially um, how you can, you can kind of really control the photo uh, and make things kind of stand out once you've done that. So I'm just playing with a couple settings here. And that is how it's going to be. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please uh, tap, tap, tap that uh, good old fashioned like button. 
And uh, if you want to support the channel, if you want awesome brushes, check my links below. Um, all my favorite brushes and overlays and everything are there. And I will see you in the next one.